let's take a look at the ESP32 S3 chip on a flat board by Rabbit Labs EU. This is their V2 version. V2, there's the little rabbit. And this is out of a country in Europe. This is not out of the USA. And here's the chip right here, ESP32 S3 room. The antenna right in here. Remember, never run these without the antenna. You could hurt the chip. There's my reset and my boot button, my little SD card slot with an SD card. And I'm not sure how long it's been since I've updated this one, so maybe we'll run through that real quick too. But let's take a look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is screw the antenna in. Gotta do that first. Wanna make sure I don't hurt the chip. We will plug it directly into the flipper. And turn the flipper on. All right, here we go. First thing we'll do, uh, let's run Marauder, see if it runs. Boom, there we go. Oh, it's running well, very quickly. So it's gathering all that data right now from this nice little chip onto this SD card. Now, uh, you know what, let's take a look at Updating it. Let's see if we can update the chip really quick. ESP32S3. Marauder has evil portal. Let's see. Oh, didn't like that needs me to press these buttons. Let's try it again. There we go, now it's working. So it's gonna go through its thing right here and flash this chip, and then we'll be on the latest version of Marauder. It will actually be on the version that is best for this flipper, which is even better. It happens to be the latest version because uh, this is the latest dev firmware. Oh, okay, says it's good. Done flashing. Reset the board manually. If it doesn't reset itself, what I usually like to do is just restart. Here we go, it's restarting. And let's use Marauder again. This time, let's see if it will, uh, it won't war drive. I wanted to see if it'll Bluetooth. I think it will, let's see. Oh, Bluetooth not supported. But we can always let's see if we can do a station sniff. Oh, it's saying that the last AP scan is empty. So once an AP scan first, which I'll do, get a little bit of data, then I can go over to the station sniff and hopefully it'll put some of that data together. Yeah, there we go. So now it looks like it grabs uh, some of that AP data and kind of sticks it together for us. Yeah. And we could do a couple of these attacks. Let's try this sour apple one. Oh, Bluetooth not supported on this, okay not going to work. So this S3 doesn't look like it's gonna run the Bluetooth. 
it just runs the basic Marauder software. It would probably run Evil Portal as well. I don't have that set up right this second to run from this uh, board, but I bet it would run it. War driving, there's no GPS connected to this version of the board. So it won't let us do that. Let's see, let's, let's run some Amazon HTML here. Okay, that's all set. Portal start, yeah, doesn't have that app config in the, in the SD card, so it won't do it. But it does run the basic Marauder stuff. Boom, scan with AP, do a station scan, then we could probably choose something from the list. So let's try that on here and see if that works after we do a little bit of our station scan. Then we will select NAP. Well, let's look at the list first. List of APs. Um, okay, I know which one, so we can select this one, save it, then if I really wanted to, bam, do a little attack on it. and then come out of there. And yeah, very basic, very nice, sleek board for the Flipper Zero. ESP32, the S3 version two from Rabbit Labs EU for the Flipper Zero.